David, it's great to have you uh, on Zoom today. And David is 19 years old and he's my son. Hi, David. Hello. It's great to have you here today. Now, you finished school last year with so many dreams. You'd had 13 years at school. And yet in April this year, you stood there in the kitchen and you were so frustrated. And what you said to me was you felt like you had wasted 13 years of your life at school and that nothing that you'd learned at school was useful. Why did you, why did you say that? Why did you feel that? Well, I thought most of school teaches you old, old things that isn't really useful for, for the real world anymore. And so when I came out of school, even though I had learned all the basic needs for finding a job and just carrying it out, I thought that the things that I needed now, I hadn't been taught at school and mm. that I had only learned them from outside of school with mm. my sport and through you. The, the system at school is broken, really. Um, it teaches you, as I said, the basic needs, but through 13 years, and most of that is just babysitting. It seems really, really frustrating. When you're saying it's not useful, I know we've done a little bit of talking over the year about, you know, what was useful, or, um, and you've talked about the different subjects that you were, were learning. Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of that and why, what you've found this year as you've come out of school, you're thinking about the subjects that you've been taught and what you can do with them now. What's, what's happened? What's your th thinking now? For well, sure, a lot of the subjects that I went through were fun and interesting to me at the time, but coming out of it, what, how many of those subjects am I actually going to follow through with? Um, apart from one and I think school is lacking in individuality and going what do you actually want what are you actually interested in or even teaching you how to find the things that you're interested in not what can we offer to you what can the teacher themselves are interested in and will pass on to the students. Mm. And you've talked a little bit about um, the the content of the exams and so on through school. It's like the the content is is set, and who's decided that, and is it still relevant? And there's those sorts of questions that you've had on the way through as well, aren't there? Yeah, it's it's sort of like broken into two parts from years one to 10, it's sort of like babysitting. The teacher exploring certain things, but still keeping to that frame that was thought of 100, 200 years ago. And then getting to year 11, 12 and 13 and going, okay, this is the set thing of exams. This is what we have to teach you now and leaving school at the end of that, not needing any of it. Mm. So it's the, it's the content of the exam system that is particularly really challenging in terms of it's how you use it or whether you can use it? The content is challenging. It depends on the person that if it's challenging or not. Mm. It, it's, it's more if it's actually useful in the real world, yeah. not in academia if you're going to go down that path mm. and I think that's one of the things that you've really seen this year you've been really questioning isn't it is mm. okay I'm out of school now I've got this piece of paper but how can I use what I've learned and yeah. that's been one of the biggest frustrations is that right yeah yeah um it's either go to retail or things like that or a trade or go to academia and what they haven't taught us is what are you actually interested in? And instead of going to university, how can you apply that and get a job or support yourself without going through the norms? 
Because mm. it seems, it seems, you know, from what you're saying about, you know, go to retail or get a trade or go to university, it's almost like your options are getting, make, going to make coffee yeah. or going and working in a shop or, yeah, and, and then learning about what you can do rather than having had that opportunity to learn about that stuff in school. Exactly. Yeah. At that same time that you said to me that this is so frustrating, I feel like I've wasted 13 years of my life in school. You also said to me that the only thing that is useful for me now, mum, is the stuff that you've taught me and the stuff that you've learned from a sports psychologist. Mm -hmm. So tell me about what has been useful for you since you've come out of school. What is it that you wish you'd learned at school? The things that I've found most useful is dealing with, I guess, the changing world and being able to apply what I've learned from you guys um, through the sports psychologist to cope with it, but also see the world for what it actually is, not what people tell us it is, of doom and gloom sort mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that, because that's really interesting. What is the world, you know, to see it for it actually is? What mm. do you see in that when you're describing that? Well, it's it's adventure, you know. It's we're only here for however long. Yep. And and we matter. Yeah. And what we do matters. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Inst it instead of just following down this path of what school teaches us mm. or what school thinks we need. Mm. And so for you, it's almost like finding out what you can do, and being able to focus on that. Finding out about yourself. Hmm. is that some of that yeah, stuff that's finding, been... about, finding out about yourself because everyone's different and how can how can it be stream so streamlined when everyone is so different hmm. Hmm. and that's some of the stuff that you've talked about as well in terms of the narrowness isn't it with the hmm. the subjects and this is what you must learn and yet so many people don't fit that because yeah. their interests are not in those in those things and they either drop out or are not interested in it and so aren't achieving their full potential. Mm -hmm. And then they can feel helpless and all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. Another, thing, another thing that's really, um, that you've talked about a lot is that mindset stuff that you've learned about and how useful that's been. So mm. tell us a little bit about mindset and what it's meant for you. Well, mindset is very important. If I didn't have a lot of those tools to apply, when times did get tough, I would, I wouldn't know where I'd be. Mm, mm. So, what are some of those tools that you have been able to apply? When we're talking about mindset, it's a big, it's a big thing, isn't it? So, yeah, just give us some examples of what you've used this year to be able to cope. Because a lot of it's from your rock climbing ability, you know, as much as you as you have to approach every single climb as a as a new climb. Well, just the little things of getting out of bed straight away and planning your day. And even though it sounds a bit funny, just meditating too, you know, five minutes a day or yeah, writing down all your thoughts and of what, yeah, what you can achieve, what you want to achieve. And how has that helped you? Well, it's, it's taken my mind off everything that's happening and putting my mind onto what I actually want from this year, even though everything's changed and actually getting the most out of it instead yeah. of writing it off. Yep. So taking that little bit of time each day helps you to refocus yeah. and to, to keep positive mm. like, and keep, keep looking forwards rather than backwards or in the present. Even though it sounds lame, it's very important. Yeah. It sounds really simple, doesn't it? And yep. yet it's made such a such a difference because I've watched you go through this year and and deal with so many so many challenges and stay super positive through it all. Mm. 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 As you've renegotiated your entire year and and looking towards the future. So, mm. Yeah. So um, if we're looking at a question on that, because you asked about the system, the system is broken. If you had a dream to be able to um, to change the system, what could it look like? 
or what should be thought about in changing that system? Well, I think the, the basic needs of being in a society such as reading, writing and communication, not just person to person, but through, through deeper things as writing is important. Mm-hmm. Um, but that, that only takes, you know, n- not very long to learn, especially at a young age. Um, and then building from that, what do each individual person want to learn? And I know that might be hard to carry out, but if you go, if you frame it as each kid gets a question of what they want to learn, what they are interested in, and then the teacher sort of helping them frame that into, okay, do some research, carry it out, you know, mm. how, how do you actually apply that? Mm. Mm. So it's and, based, and, on, based on each person's interests and what they're, what they're wanting to do and not, not being fit, fit into a narrow, mm. a narrow curriculum. Everyone's interests change over time. And then if they keep on doing that, they will build up this repertoire of their interests in school and having these projects of what they're interested in and learning what they're interested about. Mm-hmm. And then at the end, they have all this knowledge, more knowledge than what they would have learned at a normal school in the, in the normal environment. And then once they leave school, they know how to, they know how to build their interests and portray them. It's almost like that curiosity, isn't it? That, that you see in young children, they have this incredible curiosity about the world. You see those four-year-olds going, why, 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 why? <laughs> you know, yeah. all the time. And something happens when, when children go into school. And, and that, that, doesn't, that doesn't leave even though they, people say it does. It's just, I, I reckon it's just school, mm. the system. Thank you so much, David, for talking to me about this stuff. Um, yeah, it's really useful to hear your thoughts and to start conversations around the sorts of things that you're talking about there. Mm. Yeah. So thank, thank you so much. Good.